The first tropical system in the Atlantic now moving away from our coast. Arthur brought rain and strong wind gusts, turning up waves from Wrightsville Beach up the coast and along the Outer Banks. Look at that. While the storm made for a messy day, no major damage reported. This is a live webcam from Corolla Beach located in Ker Keratuk County. Did I say that right? Yeah, Keratuk okay. County. All right. I said it right. All right. Now to live coverage on Arthur and the storm's impact on the Outer Banks. Our Kayla Gaskin joins us now live from Kitty Hawk on the Outer Banks with what conditions are like there now, Kayla? Well, conditions haven't been too bad, and we've been out here all day. There's been a little bit of rain, but it's more of what I would call a heavy drizzle than any sort of downpour. The wind is whipping up out here, although I've covered storms when I can barely keep the hat on top of my head, and this is not one of those storms. I haven't had that issue at all today. But the ocean, the waves are whipping up pretty good out there, so I'm going to step aside and give you guys a look. Now, I looked at the surfline.com camera down at Jeanette's Pier. The waves there are about four to six feet high, and they should be similar along this stretch of coast. Again, conditions here haven't been too bad. There have been no boarded up windows. Families have come and walked their dogs along the beach. They visited their families, taking pictures. Uh, so people aren't really hunkering down for this storm. But what is unfortunate about Arthur's timing is that the Outer Banks just lifted restrictions. They've been closed for about two months now, not allowing anybody who are non-residents into this part of North Carolina. They lifted those restrictions on Saturday. It was a beautiful weekend. A lot of people came down and took advantage. We had a reporter down here showing uh, those busy beaches yesterday. And now they get hit with a tropical storm just as tourism season should be getting started here in this tourism hotspot. But we'll see what that summer season holds as they battle with the coronavirus and now an early start to the storm season. And that's it from Kitty Hawk. I'm Kayla Gaskins. Back to you.